Hey guys, so I'm Mercury here again. Back with another video on my summer car. Now, if you remember the last episode, we did all of the engine build, dropped it in, altered it all up, and now it's time to start fitting everything in and around the engine bay. <laughs> So what I'm going to do to start with is just going to put all the um, engine electrics, brake lines, servos, uh, and sort of bits and pieces just so we get everything in the engine bay ready. So what we're going to start with is we're just going to put this on here, like so, and grab our tool kit. F key. And I think that is a seven. Let's go for a seven. Let's try six. No. Maybe smaller than that. I'm gonna try it. Anyway. So there's two 8mm bolts on this. That's that fitted. Then what we'll do is we'll move on to fitting the clutch cylinder and the brake cylinder. So we just want to grab it, try and pop it in. Get the toolbox out of it first. Preferably not down there. Come on. Stay down there. Right, try and get that in there. Now there's two bolts on this as well. Can't remember whether these are eights or sixes. Eights. So there's one at the bottom. I'll have to turn the mouse back down again. One at the bottom, one at the top. And we'll grab the clutch lining, which is this one just here. And that goes in the bottom of there. So you've got a 6mm bolt there, the 8mm. Might be a six. Let's put this shuffling thing over. Come on. There we go. So we're going six more. Seven. There we go. Seven more. So seven mil at the bottom of there. And that's not one. There's one just there on the back of the gearbox. So make sure you do them two bolts. Just so that you don't get any leaks. Next thing we're gonna go up is the brake master cylinder, which is There. Tucked away in the corner. And that goes next to the clutch c cylinder. Come on, there we go. Got it. Right, so that one again is uh, 8mm, I think. So you've got two, one on the side, 
So we've got one there. And one with one. On the other side. That should be the both bolts for that. I don't think there's one underneath. No, there's only two. So what we need now is the brake lines. So you see this is like a four brake line attachment. So you've got two front wheels and then it goes down the bottom of the car to the rears. I don't know. Come on. There we go. So that'll be the same as the clutch lining, where it's a 7mm again. And this time you've got two this side. There. Then you'll have one down the bottom of there, you can see, just there. One just down the bottom there. These are all the same size bolts, so you shouldn't get mixed up with any bolt sizes. So, what this does, this is basically just splitting them two lines into uh, four separate lines. Go to each brake caliper. One that side at the bottom, and then another one at the top. That looks like it's already done up. So you should have th four to do up on there. And you've also got this bolt down the back here just to hold it onto the car. that one done. So now what we need to do is go around each wheel, going behind the wheel. You should see there's a bolt on the back of each caliper, on the front two anyway. When it gets to the back it's a little bit, there's two bolts each side to do, rather than just the one for each caliper, if that makes sense. So I find the one on this side, there's that one there. Tighten that one up. No. It's easier to get down under the car. So there we go. So you see where the brake lines are running. That's the fuel line. So you see they're coming down here. You've got this split pipe here. So you've got one coming through this way. So there's one just there, you can just see it there. That holds it into the back of the car. And then you should have another one. No, no. no there isn't. It's just two at the back now. So you've got another one just there, down the wishbone. That's all on tightened. So now when you get down the car, you should see the brake line goes through there, and that one goes through there, and it comes all the way back up the car, up to around the back of this, and then up into the master cylinder. And that's all tightened up. So that's the brake lining kit done. So what will fit now is the fuel pump. This one's a bit tricky to get lined up. I can never remember how which way round it goes. Right, so after a bit of jigging about, basically you see these two bolts sticking out the front of the engine. Basically it just wants to line up with that. So doesn't really matter what orientation you've got it in, as long as it sort of you've got that end piece there, and you can get it against that, it should allow you to click that in. Um, bolts on that, I'm going to say, are an eight. Yeah, so 
two more eight mil bolts in the bottom of there. Are they, sorry, might be wrong there. Sevens, sorry. Don't want to confuse you. So two seven mil bolts in the front of there, and I'm pretty sure there's no other bolt at the back to hold that in. So we just follow it around there and see it just slots into the side of the carburetor. Yeah, and there's, there's no other bolt there, so it's all good. So now what we've got left is you've got your fuel strainer, which I'll have to double check on that one. I think that does actually go in the front. Yeah, it does. So you've got this pipe sticking out the front of this. So basically, it sits on the side of the engine bay, like so. I have to reposition it. Second. So basically, this pipe here should end up on the end of that down there. Right, so after a bit of jigging about, you can see this pipe at the bottom of here, uh, that's the fuel line from the fuel tank coming up. So as long as you can get on the end of that, just click it on, and uh, go back up the top, there should be a bolt on the back of it. Um, not sure what size bolt it is. No. Come on. I guess it's the same size bolt as I've already had. It might be an 8. Try an 8. Yep, there we go. So you've got an 8mm on the back of that. As you'll see in a second, that comes around there and just goes onto the front of the uh, fuel pump. So, next job is we'll grab. The so well, let's put the fuel tank in. It's handbrakes in, isn't it? No, handbrakes not in. Tell you what, get the front of the car finished first, and then we'll move on to the back. So we'll plumb the radiator. It's a pretty straightforward job. So, Pop the radiator in. Should be two or three seven mil bolts around the edge of it. Let's bolt it in. So bolt two down there. Top and bottom. And then you'll have one. The side. There's the one at the bottom. I don't think there's one at the bottom of that side. I think it's just three. Oh no, there is four. So there's four bolts holding the radiator in. If I can do the last one. So there we go. It's radiator bolted in. Now we'll get the coolant pipes put in. So you've got this one here. Pretty sure that one goes at the back. This is the short one that goes from the front of that thermostat to the top of the radiator. I just added one. There you go, so from the thermostat to the radiator. And you've got this long one here. This goes from the bottom of the radiator round to the back of the car. Keep on. Here. Just get a different grip on it, a bit closer. Put down there for a little bit, there you go. Mm 
Yeah, so that one goes from radiator around to the back. Then you've got this piece just here, which will connect in the back to that piece just there. So it clips into that part and then goes up to the back of the water pump. That's that bit done. So next job is to let's fit the handbrake. So we'll just turn this around so it's the right way around. Grab that. Stick right in. Let the arm to tick. Come on. Pixel perfect. And they are sevens as far as I know. Let's tell it to watch all this. Try six more. Okay, four eight now, sir. So. We got one now. Basically, two on the left side, two on the right. Two, three, and four. And once you've fitted that, I'm pretty sure it's a 5mm underneath. I'll take the 5mm, I'm going to chance it. Underneath the car, you see where it connects. Up there. A 5mm bolt, hold it in. Just behind there. And this lot basically just clips through the back axle. And into the back drums. So it's just a 5mm bolt underneath there. To make sure that's tightened and those four bolts underneath. Right, so, after that, what we're going to do is just going to put the gear linkage in. Now, for this one, go underneath the car again. Twist it. Basically, what you want with this. You want four um, gears. Just trying to get a better grip on this thing. That'll be better. So you see, just above here, it's like four sections. So you see them two forks just up there. Just the you want to line that up with that, so you can just look at it and it lock it into place. And then on this, I do believe, yeah, so you've got two 5 mils here, hold this end on. And one up there to hold that down. Sure, that's all the ones you need under the engine bay. And then what you have is when you drop the gear link, you sure I think another bolt comes through there to bolt that together. So I'll just grab the gear linkage, let the gear stick rather, not the linkage. Let's just turn that around. So, just to go through, connect that up, and then, on the end of there, I think these are the same size as the, no, not the same size as the handbrake, the sixes, yeah, the six more bolts. We've got three there, you know when they're tight because they disappear under the carpet. 
better than three. I'll just double check it. I'm not sure whether it does have a bolt on the knees or not. Oh, it does, but it's already tightened. So. Hold up. So now that we've got that in place, should now be able to fit the fuel tank and the exhaust. So put the fuel tank in first. You just take the toolbox with me. So just drop that down now. This bit's relatively simple. You just basically find it up, it'll sort itself out. And then you've got pretty sure there's seven more. Awkward size, eleven mils. So eleven mil bolts. Four on the front, and I think three on the back. That's two, three, and four. So you got three on the back of here. Shush. Yeah, I've got another bolt here. I'm just trying to work out which size that is. I can't remember. So you've got three on the back. And this one here, so let's try ten. ten. Right, twelve mil. On the back of that, and that bolts the fuel line that goes from the back of the car to the front. Up to the strainer. Then the next piece for that is the filler hose. So you can feel the tank pipe just there. Usually isn't too bad for pipe to get in. With her, but you can't see when I'm videoing it. The awkwardest part to put in the world. There we go. I don't think that has any bolts holding it in, but I may be wrong. No. Is that just floats? Yeah, so it's just floating pipe. Right, there was uh, one thing I did notice two minutes ago. Just give me a second, I'll just have a look. I did notice something a minute ago, but not bolted it up. Ah, oh, that was it, drive shafts. So, I just need to bolt drive shafts in a second. So, I'm pretty sure they're nine. Alright, All right, so you've got on each drive shaft into the gearbox, you've got three 9mm bolts just to screw them in. And then the same on the other side. Tuck in one, two, and three. So that's that sorted. Right. Quickly just do the exhaust. The center part is. Ah, 
not stand in the pit. Right, so, pick that up, take that over here. Pick up the toolbox. This bit is fiddly. Or can be. So you want to pick the exhaust up. And do your best in trying to line it up. Sort of the stress level though. got on the exhaust is you've got one bolt at the back which I believe is a 7 mil one just there you've got two at the front underneath the engine bay I think that's all the brackets there is and this pain in the job of getting this to line up. That went straight on and it never does that. Now I think there's only one bar on this which is I think that's a five mil just there. Seven mil straight into the back underneath. Then what we'll do is we'll go tap the toolbox round to the front of the car. Drop it down there. Let's start with a nine. Oh, the exhaust pops up. Okay, two 7mm bolts at the exhaust end to the engine. So one on the side, it's one and two. It doesn't seem to want to line up properly, does it? I'm going to assume it's happy with it. Not see why it wouldn't be. That seems to be happy with it. that piece done because that's the exhaust on and and what we'll do is we'll just bolt the actually no take what we'll leave that off because we'll need it for setting up the car later um, I'm gonna put one seat in which will be the driver's seat uh, Quickly put the dashboard in. Right, so, need move that out of the way. So, we need 
seat driver. Pop down. Pop that in there. Pop the toolkit again. Move around. Pop that down there. I do believe these are. Ten more bolts in the bottom of them. I could be wrong. Nine more. So there's four nine millimeter bolts. One at the front. One at the back somewhere. Come on. There we go. Have it. One just there. Jump in and around the other side. You've got one at the back there. And another at the front. Just there. There we go. That is the seat in. Now this is the tricky bit because the car does not like you putting this in. It tends to try and move forward when you try and do it. No. You just grab a beer or two. Before we die of thirst. That'll do us. Uh, so, so on the dashboard you've got 10 mil bolts, one in the centre of the instrument cluster. And if you pop down the glove box, you've got one behind there. I think that's it for the dashboard. Check. Just two on the dashboard itself. And what we want is we want the the time being. I think we can only have the clock, so I'll not bother putting anything in the dashboard. Actually, no. So I'll put I'll put the clock in. Clock in. And on the back of there, there's two 5mm bolts. Pop that on. There we go. 6mm. Two six mil bolts hold the clock into the rear of the dashboard. That's that attached. So then what we'll do is this is the bit it really doesn't like. <laughs> then on the side you've got five mil or six mil bolts. Six mil there. So you got one and two. Make sure you do those two bolts behind the glove box because otherwise, when you go and pull your choke out, the choke will pull out, but you won't be able to put it back in here because the dashboard will just pop off. Because your right mouse button is the one that disconnects things from the car. And just while I remember, there are two bolts just here, on this side and one this side. They're for your brake and your clutch pedal. The one thing you don't want is those two. Why not? 
while you're driving. Let's try and see. Just try and find the bottom size here. Nine mil. So there's a nine mil this side. That's for the clutch pedal. Try not to forget to put these two in because otherwise, I mean, to be fair, you shouldn't be able to drive it because you won't be able to select gear because your clutch pedal won't actually depress um, to be able to select a gear. But then again it may just grind into gear but when you go to press the brake pedal your brakes won't work <laughs> so that's that so in the next episode what we'll do is we'll get this wiring mess as he calls it and we'll go through and we'll get all the engine wired up all the way through into the dashboard through to the back of the car and get everything wired up working with a battery connected. Once we've done that we can top up all the fluids, set up the carburetor and hopefully start the car for the first time. So anyway, if you like this episode make sure to uh, leave a like, thumbs up, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.